Hey there guys, Elton here, and if you're not uh, familiar with my videos on my channel, Retro Old School, well, welcome, you know, and uh, I hope you like what you see, and if you do, obviously, uh, you know, subscribe and comment and all that jazz, but anyway, luckily for me, I just talked with the owner of this car, although it's not a, a desirable car, it's not sought after, it's not worth much money, it's a rare car today. I mean, a four-door Pontiac Le Mans, uh, Le Mans Grand Am Quad 4. This is like basically a sport package version, a GT. Uh, with a with a uh, four cylinder that had more uh, power than the usual motor, and uh, well, she's showing some age, but uh, the owner was telling me that originally he bought this car in 1990 in Alabama, and he's never drove it in the winter, which is really even more amazing because again, this is just a this was just a sort of a run in the mill car back in the day, uh, but you know, hey, it's a survivor and uh, it's still around. It's only got 60,000 miles. It's never seen winters. And it shows. And uh, look at that. I mean, this was a deluxe model. You had the mag wheels. You had the skirt package kit around. It was red. You had the um, luggage rack. Look, you even had dual exhaust. Too bad this fucking stupid Toyota is parked right up to it, though. Yeah, that's a neat car. I remember when these cars were around, they were being driven. They um, they were loud. These four cylinders were loud motors, you know. And this particular model they made until I think it was from eighty six, eighty six to uh, ninety one, ninety two. You can see some of the clear coats coming off. I think it says it right there. Sixteen valve. Ah, yeah, those stupid filler pieces. They often come off. You know, they just break right off. Now there's a Delta 88 back here I want to make a video of, but uh, oddly enough, I thought it belonged to the same guy, but it belongs to somebody in this building over here, which I'd like to talk to because this is a rare car as well. It's a two-door Delta. Look, with a sunroof. These cars were common back in the day, but not the coupe. None of these cars that were coupes were common. Not the LeSabre, not the Electra, not the Oldsmobile 98 Regency. And uh, that's what's funny is that uh, I th really thought that the guy who had this car owned the other one as well. And my god, why is his license... Oh shit, he doesn't have a license plate on it right there. That's weird. Okay, whatever. I guess he doesn't drive it probably. That's alright, whatever. Whatever. Tires. Mm. That's a neat car. I thought some of you guys might appreciate that. I'm sure some of you guys are going to tell me, Oh, my mom had one. Oh, my dad had one. Oh, my brother had one. My sister had one. And, uh, I mean, really, there's none of these cars left around here. You know? They were, uh, they used to be common, like I said, but uh, they were never common as this uh, Quad 4, which, like I said, was a, a sport package. Uh, funny because the 90s ones you still see them around I still see one now in the 92 93 94 they were good cars might even been better actually than this generation anyway it's a beautiful day here in Montreal and uh, I'm gonna keep floating around here I got off the 64 before it was a nice 2008 LFS not a hybrid scrap and uh, yeah that's about it I'm just gonna see what I can see and there you go that's it that's all take care guys bye bye Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's weird. Look how they did that. Okay, the letters fell off, but look. Or the paints come up. Pontiac Grand M. That's funny. You don't see that often on the car where they put the names together, the two names together in one, one sentence. And I remember years ago, before I finished, down the street over here, there was a guy I had a long time ago. It was a 80... I don't know, 84, 85 Tornado. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Uh, no, actually, I saw one recently. Anyway. So, uh... Yeah, I'd like to make a video of that Delta, but I don't know. It's a cool car, though. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.